Welcome to Chandwell. I partake in the Scale Scenes um, group on Facebook and on there Steve Gibson was asking me a little bit more about the track plan of Chandwell so I said I'd do a video just to talk about the, the, the track plan and this is that video so I hope Steve that it answers your questions. As I've said before the actual layout so that's the combination of points and tracks is based upon those at Bradford Interchange so with that in mind let's take a look at Chandwell. So this is Chandwell so far. It's built along two walls of my garage. This wall um, is 36 centimetres deep and we start here with a one metre long fiddle yard which I've done a video about before. Leaving the fiddle yard we come through this countryside section to the junction. In real life from Bradford this line would go towards Leeds whereas this one would go th what, towards Halifax. Neither of them go through tunnels in real life, but you know, needs must when you've got a fiddle yard just to get into. We then turn through 90 degrees around to the other wall of the garage, and this is where Chandwell Viaduct is placed. I've done many videos on the building of that. We've got 2.4 metres um, of wall on this side, and it is around about 47 centimetres deep, so it's a little bit wider than the previous side. This notch carries a waste pipe from upstairs, there's nothing I can do with that. I might model it into a building at some point. Chandwell has four platforms just like Bradford and has a run round loop at the top and a stabling siding at the bottom. It has some things that Bradford doesn't though. This crossover was removed at some point and the one above doesn't have this part of track so I've modelled that myself. Bradford also doesn't have these little bits here but I do like how they look so I've modelled that myself. The six tracks from the station converge into three, and it's three that go over the viaduct with various points and crossings. The junction itself at Bradford is a crossing here, a diamond crossing, whereas I've just used a point. I couldn't get the tra track geometry to work into the curve with anything else. The thing I like most about the track at Bradford and why I chose it is it's very complex and allows a lot of different moves. So you can have multiple arrivals at the same time. You can have a train here arriving from Halifax at the same time as one here arriving from Leeds and you do frequently see trains running side by side into the station. The same works in reverse. You can have a train arriving from Halifax and a train departing to Leeds. Or you can have a train departing to Halifax just by following a different combination of points on the viaduct. The routes that you choose are interesting. If for example you come in from Leeds and go up to the top of platform 1 here you can't depart to Halifax or arrive from Halifax at the same time, but you can depart to Leeds still. This leads to really interesting operating sessions. Here a train departing to Leeds can depart at the same time as one to Halifax, depending upon the routes that we choose. However, if you choose to depart from platform 1 in the Leeds direction, the train crosses all tracks and you can't do any simultaneous moves with that one. So let's take a look at the combination of points and things on the layout. We've got the first one here which is the junction, then we've got a, cro a double crossing I think they're called here, going in that direction and one in the opposite direction straight after. Then have a combination of further points here which just give extra options so we've got all different routes available to us. We can arrive and depart from all platforms in all directions. Um, using this combination of points and that's what I really love about this layout. Another thing I really love about the layout being on a curve is that there are no reverse curves. With the slight exception of this one and here, all of the rest of the curves only turn left. This means that a train never has to navigate an S curve if it's crossing from one track to the next. All of the, tr all of the curves are smooth like this. We follow them through they all just go to the left. Even the more complicated routes, like from the edge of platform 1 right round to the departure towards Leeds, is just one smooth curve. Similarly for the incoming trains. Let's take a look at this in practice. Here's a train departing platform 1 and going towards Stanley Junction, or which in real life would be Leeds. It crosses all three tracks, yet it only ever turns left. It never turns back on itself 
and it just follows that one smooth curve. So let's just take a slow flyby across the layout, starting in the station and going towards the fiddle yard. And there we go, that is Chandwell and its track plan. Hope this has been of some use um, and you enjoyed it. Um, tune in next time.